EMI 3, 8, and 9. This is talking about building the wall, Jerusalem. Next to him was Ezel, son of Habatha. Goldsmiths made repairs. Now, most likely, these this would have been a golden section of the wall because they're being goldsmiths. They would have used gold. They would have enshrined it. But, I mean, it just makes sense because it's pointing out they're goldsmiths. So, for this to be made of gold would be apparent because that was their fashion. That was their trade. And they're only making repairs. So most likely they're making his repairs with the gold that they know how to work with. Next to him was Hadath, which means God uses what we are able to do and works with it. Next, one of the perf perfumers made repairs. So this guy, not as much use, but being used anyway. Which means if we don't have anything to give in a certain area, God will still use us if we're willing. And they fortified Jerusalem even to the wide wall. So they're just doing repairs. So they're working on a bigger section, it appears. Next to them... Ramath, the son of Hur, the ruler of half the district of Jerusalem, made repairs. So this guy has more money, more influence. So he's probably hiring, maybe hiring out to make these repairs quicker. Um, but he also has a direct interest for this wall to be rebuilt because he's ruler of Jerusalem, which means this wall is going to help people from overtaking him as ruler. So sometimes God uses our personal interest to motivate us but we should always do things to serve the Lord out of the motivation to serve him but sometimes God uses self-motivation to get things done we shouldn't allow it to come to that as Christians but sometimes it does and he uses it anyway